Assalamualaikum. My name is Ali Sufyan. In this video, I will present about the concept of first law and second law of thermodynamic. So, in this video, I will discuss about first law and second law of thermodynamics, energy transfer by heat, energy transfer by work, energy transfer closed system, energy transfer open system, and the Carnot circle. So, what is the first law of thermodynamics? The first law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created or destroyed in an isolated system. Instead, it can only be transferred from one form to another or is changed with the surrounding. In simple terms, the total energy of a closed system remains constant over time. This means that any increase in energy within the system must be balanced by a corresponding decrease in energy as well. Below is the equation of the first law of thermodynamic when Q is represented as quantity of heat, U is internal energy, and W is a work. Next is second law of thermodynamic. Second law of thermodynamic asserts the head cannot move from a reservoir of lower temperature to a reservoir of higher temperature in a cyclic process. In other words, hot things always cool unless you do something to stop them. The right picture is the example of how the second law of thermodynamic work. So, <coughs> next is energy transfer by heat. Energy transfer by heat is the process of moving thermal energy from a warmer object to a cooler object. It occurs so spontaneously due to a temperature different between the object. So, in the picture, if heat energy flow into the system from the surrounding, it's said to be positive, but if heat if heat energy flow from the system to the surrounding, it's said to be negative. Uh, next is energy transfer by work. Energy transfer by work is referred to the process of transferring energy to or from a system through mechanical means. If work energy is transferred from the system to the surrounding, it is donated as positive. If work energy is transferred from the surrounding to the system, it is donated as negative. Like this picture, you can see uh, how it's work. Next is energy transfer closed system. In a closed system, energy transfer refers to the exchange of the energy that occurs within the boundary of your system without any transfer or matter across this boundary. A closed system is isolated from its surrounding in terms of mass, but it can still exchange energy with its surrounding in the form of heat or work. So here is the example of application of closed system. Uh, it's a pressure uh, cooker, pressure cooker. Next is an uh, energy transfer open system. In open system, energy transfer refers to exchange of both energy and matter between the system and its surrounding. Unlike a closed system, an open system allows for the transfer of both energy and mass across its boundaries. So, below is the example application of open system. It is a jet engine. So, the Carnot circle. The Carnot circle is a theoretical thermodynamic cycle that serves as an idealized model for heat engine and refrigeration system. Below is the picture of Carnot circle. So, summary of Carnot circle. 4 to 1, the heat energy is supplied to the boiler resulting in evaporation of the water, therefore the temperature remains constant. 1 to 2 is isentropic expansion take place in the turbine or engine. 2 to 3, in the condenser, condition take place, therefore the temperature remains constant. 3 to 4, isentropic compression of the wet steam. In a compressor, return the steam to its initial state. The steam at the inlet to the turbine is dry saturated. The steam flows around the cycle and its process may be analyzed using the steady flow energy equation where change in kinetic energy and potential energy may be negated. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.